Sunday, it sure has been a while. It's been over a year since I was here at Dens Park. And Dundee fans, you've been asking me for over a year to come back. Finally, we're back and we're back for the derby that is not a derby. You've seen the madness of this fixture and you've seen the madness of this game the last time these two sides faced off. And today, I just have to see it from the other side. Today, it's Dundee versus St Johnson in the Tayside derby. Right, we've just walked to the game around with Bob Dick, uh, St, St. Johnson fans. Yeah. Yep. Ginger hair, love that, put it there. <laughs> Boys, I'm going to ask you, is this a derby? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's for you, your St. Johnson fans. Dundee fans, they think it's not a derby. Who's going to get the win? Saints. Think so? Uh, Confident. What's the score going to be? 3 2 Saints. 2 2 on Saints. 2 on Saints. It's a game that I think is one of the most underrated in Scottish football. The last time we've seen this fixture, it was a madness. Dundee went 2-0 up. The Dundee fans were singing. They were taunting the St. Johnson fans. And out of nowhere, St. Johnson pulled back two goals in the last 10 minutes. They were nowhere near it. And the place went mental. I mean, I've seen atmospheres. I have seen madness at games. However, that last 10 minutes of that game, that was up there. That was definitely up there. And that is why I wasn't missing this fixture today. This game today is getting played in front of a sold out crowd. Yes, both sides have sold out their allocation and let's just say there is big things expected of both sides today. You've seen how good it was last time. Can it be just as good today? I've got little doubts about that. Anyone recognise this stadium? Dundee United? Well, just look across the road and that's where we are today. How crazy. Every time I come here, it's actually crazy. Dundee United right there and literally across a bit of grass and there's Dundee <laughs> it's madness the two closest stadiums in the UK and let's just say this is a derby yes as you can see both stadiums right next to each other this is a proper derby however we've not had this in a good few years Dundee United get relegated then Dundee get relegated but there was promotions and relegations which have meant they've not been able to play each other for the last couple of years. This has caused the rise of the Tayside Derby. So many of you may not know, St Johnson come from Perth. Perth has no other teams in it, so the closest team for St Johnson would be one of the Dundee teams. Pick which one it would be, I don't know geographically. It would be a couple of hundred yards apart. However, over the last couple of years, with there being no Dundee Derby, the Tayside Derby has rocketed up and that has meant that this fixture right here today is sold out and it's going to be played in front of our rocking atmosphere. As you can see here behind us, we've got a heavy police presence in attendance today. This is no lean game. It's been over a year since we've been here. Who's excited? Because I definitely am. Let's get in and feel this Derby that's not a Derby for ourselves. Come on. As we know, I always like to buy a programme. However, look at this. The Dino. How cool is that? If you know your stuff, you know the magazine called The Dino. This actually comes from Dundee. I'll show a picture of the statue in Dundee Centre now. And they've named it after it, The Dino. How cool is that? McNally. Blair, Blair McNally. Blair McNally. There you go, mate. Thank you. It's always a good laugh coming to Dent's Park. So I thought I had the ticket in my phone. I forgot, Dundee don't have that technology. I'm forgetting they're stuck in the 1800s. Wait till you see this stand we're going to and you'll realise why. So I forgot, I have to go and collect my ticket for the ticket collection. 15 minute queue to get collect my ticket because I don't have online. So, nah. do you know what, it's good. It's good that some clubs are still keeping traditions going. Felt like I was in the 1960s waiting in that queue there talking to people. And you'll feel like you're in the 1960s when you get into this stadium. Wait and see this stand. Just seen this gentleman here. Dundee, you've still got your season ticket books. Keeping traditions high, eh? Look. Madness. Did you see this? Thank you. Oh, it's a tight squeeze, that. <laughs> Look at this. Honestly, you would not know. 2024, would you? You're a brave man wearing shorts. Eh? Good man, what do you think the score's going to be? 2-1 uh, Dundee. 2-1. My guy, put it there. It's good to be back. 
old traditions. Look at this. As the players just come out now, you can feel the atmosphere for yourselves. It's great to see you. Do you know what? I love coming to places like this. I was at Capelo on Friday night and I'm here at Dens Park just now. It's absolutely tremendous that there's still stadiums like this and there's still traditions of old football. I mean, you'll get people a lot, lot older than me that'll get nostalgia coming to stadiums like this. I know it's not the best, I know it's not all the money and all the stuff that people look for nowadays at games with our fancy hot dogs and steak and chorizo pies at St Johnson, but it's got what you need. And see football, football's not all about money. Football's about spending that time with your friends, spending that time with your family and just having a great time. And today, we're going to go inside and witness some of that. So, let's go. Oh, look at this. Real City Unity with a pyro display. Look at that. Great atmosphere in here today. Still going. <laughs> Champions of Scotland, you'll never sing that. Dundee obviously champions. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are brilliant here. Good to be back. That smell of pyro, nothing beats the smell of pyro. Beautiful. I love football. Nothing beats football. Back from Liverpool. What a player this man is. Larry is on the ball. Own back, own back. He's such a good player. No wonder he's a fan's favourite here. Far too good for Dundee, to be honest. Good atmosphere in here. Just what you'd expect. Oh, St Johnston have just opened the scoring. What are you St Johnston? I've just been pulled up by the people at Dundee there. They've said I'm not allowed to film at the moment, so I don't know what's happening there. Unfortunately for Dundee, they've just taken the lead. But apparently I'm not allowed to film, so last time I was here, the exact same happened. I had to argue with them, then I was allowed to film. This time, well, they've tried to pull us up again because they've got nothing better to do. So they're away to have a meeting, and then we'll find out what happens. But what can you do? What can I do? Theo, you're a Dundee fan? What do you think the score's going to be? Do you think you can beat them? Um, possibly. Oh. I think if we did, it's 2-1-1-1. And I'm going to ask you one question. Is this a derby? Uh, no. It's a tie. Different, three different opinions. What do you think the score's going to be? 2-1-1-1. Score. What do you think the score's going to be? Look at this. Proper football. Everyone. Standing. <laughs> That's what football's all about, that's what football should be. None of this sitting down, carry on. So I've just found out, uh, St John's won this. St John's actually got a point above Dundee. So, Dundee are actually looking to win this one. They need to. <laughs> Nutters. So it has to be won by either side. What a save that is. Keep Dundee in it. St John's pressuring a volley edge of the box. What a save that is. Right, we've got the pie of the month here. Half time. I'm going to give it a wee try and see how it is. Steak and black pudding pie. Looks good. Let's try that. That is a good pie. Unbelievable. It's got proper black pudding in it right along the bottom. And steak and gravy at the top. Tastes a wee bit like haggis. Look at it there. I give it a 8.7 out of 10. That's a proper pie. The two pie man. Bro, love that. We love the fatties. <laughs> Look at this, Dundee FC, look over here, Dundee United, where else do you get that eh? <laughs> here we go, for the second half. My bro, put it here, my guy, he's not already. Subscribe. <laughs> 
Hey boys! Yes! Come on, let's play Mark! What's your score going to be? Two and 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 at this point, I was approached by security after already speaking to them. The stewards then tried to bully me out of filming the video without knowing the rules and regulations. They didn't know any laws and luckily enough with me studying journalism at the moment, I know what I can and can't film. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I'm going to speak a lot more about what happened. So the stewards have just come up to me and said I'm not allowed to film. They've just tried to, try to kick me out. Try to say I'm not allowed to film in here. I'm allowed to film myself as long as I've got consent. Stewards. Safety, security. Safety, one Safety. You better look up your rights and you better look up the laws before you try and come at me and kick me out. Oh, Dundee are in here. Oh, I'm not taking my chances. What's happening here? Ref's going to the monitor for VAR. This can either be a good or a bad thing. Can't even hear, can't even hear the speakers. What's this for? I get a penalty, Dundee. All the boys are done at the front. Yeah. They're all waiting. Yeah. Oh, this is huge. Oh, who wins this? Goes in front of each other after the game.
standen. The defense, you can shove your case out of your ass. That's their opinion on it. Three minutes added on. We're a fair few minutes into it now. Dundee are hanging on here. Season. What have the people to do if they've not already? Wow, what an ending to the game that was. It's the next day, I'm back here in Glasgow and I've taken a day to reflect on what happened yesterday. What an ending, what a game. However, it was blighted by some unfortunate events during the game. Unfortunately, I was made to feel really, really uncomfortable at yesterday's game. And it wasn't really a good experience for me, to be honest with you. This is not the first time this has happened at Dundee. This time last year, I was at Dundee versus Abroth. And that's one of the reasons I've not been back for a while. is because of what happened with the security. Not only did they try and bully me out of video once again, but they came up to me and they tried to lie about certain stuff to get me to stop videoing. Luckily enough, I study journalism, so I know the rules and regulations of the SPFL for filming. I know the rules and regulations of the freedom of the press and my rights to film. So for you that don't know, I'll explain what happened yesterday. Firstly, within the first five minutes of the game or something, I was filming, just doing my normal thing as I do at games, trying to give an advert for Dundee as a football club and trying to give an advert for Scottish football. Trying to show off people that maybe don't know, don't go to the games in Scotland or even wider. I've got viewers from all over the world who love this type of stuff. And then, out of nowhere, I'm getting shouts for people that the security down, the, down at the front were looking for me. So what did I do? I went down to the front, spoke to them. They told me I wasn't allowed to film. So after that discussion, there was no problems at all. I agreed with them. I said, I'll not film any moving parts of the game or any moving pictures if you ask me not to. Went back up and from then on, you'll notice I never filmed the pitch, any moving pictures to do with broadcast rights. And I only filmed me and fans who'd consented to being on the video. Then, in the 60th minute, not just one, but five, five security members came up out of nowhere and tried to tell me that I was not allowed to film anything. So, from then, I jumped down off my seat. It started to get a bit heated because other fans were trying to stick up for me. There was quite a few other fans started getting aggressive on my behalf. And I said, guys, go away. I spoke to them nicely and calmly and I asked them, Right, have you got any proof or any evidence that I'm not allowed to film anything within this stadium? They couldn't give me anything, they couldn't show me anything. And then on, I rhymed off the rules and regulations of the SPFL, the sections that it was in, the sections from the Freedom of the Press as well, and the rights I have to film myself and people who have given consent. From that, these stewards, you should have seen their faces, weren't too happy that I knew my stuff. And they radioed in, into their wee walkie-talkie, up into the control centre that was staring over the fans for the full game. They said they would be back for the rest of the game. They never came back. All they did was went down to the front, stood in a wee group, a wee huddle, and spoke away to each other. Do you know what? I felt very intimidated by their actions. I felt bullied, and I wasn't the only person. For months now, or at least over a year, this has been happening at Dundee, and I've heard of fans getting chucked out for nothing, fans getting accused of stuff, I've heard of fans getting intimidated at Dundee. And yesterday, at the very end of the game, one of the fans jumped up when he was celebrating the last minute goal and one of the security, security, decided it was okay to push him off the barrier. Now, make it that what you will. Lifting your hands to one of the fans, a younger boy as well, that never done anything. He was only celebrating the last minute winner. 
Make of that what you want for yourself. I have been to games all over the world with some of the craziest fans. Legia Warsaw, Marseille. Pff, I could rhyme them all off. Yesterday was the most intimidated I've ever felt at a football match. In the third party company that you have got in security, things need to change because football fans shouldn't feel like prisoners in the way that there's a control centre that looks up and they're constantly just looking over the fans. Fair enough, watch over the fans. But the rest of the stadium, there's one steward for each section. Yesterday, I counted seven stewards standing over, staring onto the fans yesterday. Fair enough if there's stewards up beside, just watching out if anything's happening. I understand that. But the fact that there was seven stewards lined up, just staring at fans, looking out for trouble, looking out for anything that they can pick up, it wasn't a nice environment at all and I felt very intimidated. Dundee Football Club, please sort this out. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hope the next video is on a better note. Thank you for joining me. If you've not already, please show your support in the one way I ask. Click that subscription button and I will see you in the next one.